Hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. We have a Muslim Abdul here asking a question. He said, Who is supreme ruler of the heaven and the earth? The Father or the Son? Remember that there can only be one God. You know, this is a question that can be accepted from someone who is not a Muslim. Because if I ask you the same question, Who is the supreme ruler of the heaven and the earth? What you will answer? You will say to me, Allah, that's false. Because according to your religion, and I can prove it easy, it is a guy, his name is Qatham, he changed his name to Muhammad. What what this name mean? Just to prove it to you easy. When you say there's such a name, what does that mean? It means the praised one. The praised one. So who is the praised two? Who gave the authority to Muhammad to be the praised one? Why Allah he gave one of his names to Muhammad if he is the only true God? The second you say Muhammad is the praised one, if Allah is to be praised, he must be praised too. Or maybe three, or maybe four, or maybe never exist to be praised anyway. So, very naive question. Playing games, forgetting that they don't worship God, they worship a guy, they call him the praised one, for he is claiming to be God. But yet he is a servant of God. But God created everything for him. Allah created the chairs, the vagina, the penises. And you remember the hadith where it says that. I'm not making things up. So which authority here is exist? The authority to create everything just for the sake of Muhammad. Indeed, the Prophet of Allah is the reason for the creation of Adam, the universe. The earth, the sky, the chair of Allah, the iPad of Allah. The, the Allah will not be have a chair without Muhammad? Why? What happened? Who is this guy? Who is this guy? The hell, the heaven, everything is created for Muhammad, everything. And yet you say to us, you worship Allah and Muhammad his servant. Allah is the servant of Muhammad as you see. So who gave Muhammad the authority to call himself the praised one? To the point, you Muslims, you keep saying here, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which means Allah pray on him and salute him. The Muslim, they lie in their translation saying, pray, sorry, uh, uh, may Allah give him a blessing. What do you mean give him a blessing? May Allah? <laughs> and don't, don't, don't let me go to, uh, uh, go to May, because this is one of the stupid statements the Quran uses. It's a, it's, a, it's a stupid statement in Arabic. But here, who is the one giving the authority? I mean, the authority of Allah is, exists for what reason? For the reason of Muhammad. So Muhammad is the authority. Who is serving who here? If I say to you, there is a person, everything he do is just to make me happy. So who is the Lord? Who is the master and who is the servant? Obviously, the one who do everything to make me happy. If I say to you, there is somebody, he create everything just for me. Human, animals, women, like chairs, uh, furniture, anything, the water, the fish, uh, your vagina, vagina brother, created just for me. So who is the Lord and who is the servant and who is the slave? Obviously Muhammad is the Lord and Allah is his servant. So it's very stupid that you are asking such a question to us, but you don't want to ask it yourself. Who is the one who gave Muhammad the authority to say that muta is haram? When the Quran says it is lawful, was Allah wrong and Muhammad corrected him? No, he will say, Allah told him, show me. Show me where Allah told him it's haram. I want to see it. Who, you know, who gave him the authority? What authority? So, uh, you know, a Muslim, when he plays games, you have always to get him busted from his book. Now, regarding Jesus, we Christians believe that there is only one authority, and that is the authority of our Lord. Our Lord, He made Himself clear in His words in the Bible. You see, you yourself, you asked me from chapter, chapter uh, John chapter five, right? But I wonder how come, like, I mean, you post a verse for us, but you don't ask yourself, in which authority Jesus, He was doing those miracles, in which authority He was breaking the Sabbath. In which authority he was making the blind see? In which authority he forgave sin? 
I mean, can you forgive sin? Which authority he had? Huh? A person who forgives sin is, you know, the Muslim, they say to you that in certain time, the Pope, he was given a certificate to forgive sin. And they lie to their followers and they say that if you go to the church, the priest, he forgive your sin. That's a big fat lie, Abdul. You are Muslims, liars. Priests don't forgive our sin. He prayed. He himself is a sinner too. The Pope himself, he prayed to God. Even I'm not a Catholic, but I know what the Catholic believe. The Pope himself, he confessed his, his, his sin every weekend because he's a sinner too. The Bible says it clearly. Every man is a sinner. Even your prophet said so. And even your prophet, he asked Allah, which is actually funny, you know, he says, may Allah forgive your sin for the past and the coming sin. But this is not our topic for now. In chapter 3, verse number 49 in the Quran, Jesus was resurrecting people from death. In which authority? You want to tell me Allah gave him the authority? I thought the authority of resurrection is only for God. So now, let us say this is what you are saying true that he gave him the authority to resurrect people from death okay that's mean we have now two resurrectors and that's mean jesus he shared the same authority the same as your god however there's no proof that this authority is coming from allah because even the quran says i have come to you and i make for you out of the clay as it were the figure of a bird and I breathe into it. You see here the translation is not correct. I breathe. What does that mean? I breathe. It means I give it from my life, from my from my breathing. I give life. I am life creator. Who which authority is given a man to create life? You need to explain to us. Is that just a miracle or an authority? Because here it says I, I, I. And I breathe. You see, you change transla translation right away. You change the translation, you find some the, the corruption of Muslims for the Quran. And I breathe. You see, he did not create a, a figure of a clay and he said, Oh Allah, make him a man. That would be a miracle, normal miracle, but amazing one for sure. No, he created the fa he fashioned the clay and he breathed into him. What does that mean? It means Jesus, he give life. How somebody is created, he can create life. Which authority is that? So it's a sign from your Lord, but I, a sign from the Lord will be if Jesus, he fashioned a clay and he say, hey Allah, please Allah, make it a human being or a, or a bird or a cockroaches or make it even look funny like Muhammad. He did not do that. He fashioned a clay and he breathed into the clay in which authority now we have two creator and the funny the quran said and not only by the way not only this the quran says in many places only knows the unseen only allah knows the unseen oh, then jesus he tell you i announce to you what you eat i announce to you what you store in your houses well, that's mean he know the unseen when they asked muhammad the same question he said i am just a human being like you <laughs> i am dumb dumb easy I, I am i have no idea don't ask me huh? which authority is that authority of a person he know what you hide how he can do that you will tell me allah he told him okay but that is not in the moment of his, he's making a challenge i can tell you what you are even thinking they will see jesus he knew what they are thinking the authority of jesus my friend is the authority of the oneness of god for the God and his word is one. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And then you will see here, all of this about what? About Jesus. The same as in the, was in the beginning, with God. And all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. By who? That is the Messiah. The Messiah, my friend, is not a man. We don't worship a man. The Messiah is the Word of God who came to us in the flesh, as it says here in verse number 14. And he is the light. John, he is witnessing for the Messiah as who? As the light of this world. He is the truth. He is the Alpha. He is the Omega. Everything was made by him and for him. 
and the funny you quote from me from John, but yet you don't see what John is saying. John bear witness for him and cried saying, this is was he of whom I speak. He that cometh after me is performed before me, for he was before me. Uh, I'm sure Abdul, he will get dizzy. He will go to Ibn Kathir to understand this. The word is very clear. He is the word of God. He is the Alpha and he is the Omega. Musa has come with the law. Jesus is the grace of God himself. No man has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is, you know, God himself. So how he can see God? Why he saw God? Because simply is God, as the word of God came to us and became a man. Nobody saw God before. If we remember in the Old Testament, we know that God came to Abraham as a man. So he saw God. No, he did not see God the way he is. He saw God as a man. So God, he humbled himself for a reason. You cannot see him with his glory. Even the Quran says that uh, when Moses, you know, uh, wanted to, uh, to see God, uh, you know, the mountains will disappear, will, will, will explode if they saw God. So you cannot see God. But yet look at here. You will see Allah will come to the Muslims in a shape other, the, other than the one which they knew. But yet nothing happened. The Muslims, they will have God who come in two shapes, which means now we have two gods. For God number one with shape number one and God number two with shape number two. So the first God, Allah, when he come to the, to the, the Muslims in a shape other than the one which they know, he will say to them, I am your Lord. They will kick his ass. They will say to him, we seek refuge from you, obviously, which means he is shaitan. This is our place and we will not follow you. Tell our Lord, come to us. So the Muslims, they accuse Allah himself to be a devil. They kick his ass. They spit at him and they seek refuge against him with Allah. Why? Just because he changed his shape. Then Allah, he have no choice. He go back to his closet. He sat in the front of the makeup room. He start putting his old shape which the Muslims can recognize him with maybe it was a snake so Allah will come to them in a shape they knew or they know and he will say I am your Lord and then they will say no doubt you are our Lord then they will follow him so you Muslims you refuse God for a shape you accept God for a shape you don't refuse God for he is God you refuse him and you accept him for a shape that is the most stupid cult ever you are an idol worshipper. We change the shape of the idol for you. If you don't like it, you spit at it. But it's the same one. And that is who is your God. So now, which authority is the authority we have? The authority of the first shape or the second shape? What about the authority of the Quran? Is the Quran Allah? They will say no. Is the word of God in Islam is God? No. Okay. Is the Quran is it created? They will say no. This is a Muslim website. The Quran is not created. So now we have two and a created divine, eternal. Okay, where the Quran came from then? Is the Quran is Allah? They will say no. Okay. Is the Quran created? They will say no. It's not created. And look how stupid the statement, the answer of the scholar here. It says, the Quran is not created. It began from him and returned to him. <laughs> How you just say it's not created and began from him? The second you say it's began from him, it means there's a point of beginning. And that means there's a timing. You see, when the Bible says that God is the Alpha and the Omega, that's not about the start of God. That is about the start of the universe. He is the Alpha, he is the Omega. He created everything, everything created by him and for him. Our Lord is out of the time. Here, Quran is created. No, it's not. Began from him. Began when? That means there's a time. It doesn't matter to, to say to me uh, how old it is. It means began. It means there's a time. What before the began point? So now we have a Quran, which is not created. And this is very funny. So now we have Allah not created. What else? Quran is not created. So we have two. Let me ask you another question. The shape I just mentioned to you here, 
is it created or not created? Huh? This shape here, is it created or not? If you say to me the shape of Allah, the first one is created, that's mean Allah is inside as a creation. Actually, we can show you tons of verses in the Quran and from the Hadith. Isn't it Allah going from the seven heaven to the first seven eleven heaven to ask who is praying for me? So Allah now is going inside his shape, which is created by who? Did Allah borrow the first shape from the seven eleven store? From Amazon? Where did he get the first shape from? It must be created. If it's not created, now, now we have two eternal shape. Shape number one of Allah and shape number two. And how Allah can be one in the same time, but he have two shape, which means two person. So Abdul, you talk about authority, you have no authority of talking about authority. For, or, for you are a follower of a shape. You are an idol worshiper, and we are the followers of the word of God, who he is God himself. God is one for us as a Christian. He is not one for you. You follow the praised one, Muhammad, not the praised one, Allah. Thank you and God bless.